uh, hi everyone so uh, I'm making a, another video uh, today so uh, in my free time so since I'm mean, waiting for my sister to actually come over uh, with her kids and uh, yeah along with her husband and I just wanted to make a video about this uh, about this theme of uh, narcissistic fairy tales uh, psychopathic horror stories and the uh, demon we knew yeah <coughs> so um today I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the aspect of uh, this narcissistic fairy tales in terms of the um yeah the narcissist relationship with beauty beauty um not just physically but also um, emotionally, spiritually and I mean beauty I mean in inner beauty other than external beauty so um, I believe that in in everyone's encounter with a narcissist or narcissist depending whether on whether it's actually single or plural you would probably realize that uh, especially if the narcissist is a somatic narcissist a somatic narcissist meaning that someone who uses his or her body or her looks or his or her looks to get their supply their victim you would realize that um, they are very obsessed uh, with the not just the face sometimes the body as well and um, so many narcissists I mean they are, they are everywhere I mean nowadays in our society especially with uh, social media you know like social media influencer culture where you know people just uh, post dark lips yeah that dark that disgusting dark lips on social media pouting on lips and or even for guys uh, you know they'll just take off their clothes and uh, show off everything except even maybe even their butt as well uh, except for maybe their ding dongs or even some do show their ding dongs who knows I mean in our modern day culture the idea of the body has been almost uh, it has been exaggerated and almost but been blown up to of, and our proportions so uh, when you, is that you know it's just like that Abercrombie and Fitch gigantic the gigantic poster that actually hangs around outside Abercrombie and Fitch stores um, everywhere <coughs> in a big city, and I mean the idea of showing your body everything. So or, and not just your body, sometimes even your your face too and everything. So um, what is it? Uh, what is it about uh, the body or the face? I mean, uh, remember that one someone who followed me on Instagram used to tell me that. Uh, I mean, he's a he's a harmless person. He's like this 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 uh, acquaintance just told me, you know, we are still a very superficial society. After all, uh, we don't look at people for their characters a lot. Uh, I mean, not unless we really want to know them well. And uh, on the first the first thing we want to do is just to see who they are I mean as in their appearance and we like seeing beautiful faces and bodies I mean this is a very human thing uh, so that that makes it uh, yeah that makes it easy for somatic narcissists to actually get their way because uh, they know how to you know manipulate or arrange the way they look physically and people don't look beyond the appearance yeah to see how their soul or their inner selves are and and again if we were to compare that with a particular fairy tale uh, it would be the famous green fairy tale of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs so uh, as we know uh, the Fairy tale is a very popular fairy tale. It has like undergone a lot of transformations 
throughout the decades and uh, even centuries, I mean, from the original version where, you know, Snow White was actually supposed to be in the uh, dark woods and, uh, you know, the, the huntsman who was supposed to kill her because he was commissioned by the uh, wicked queen. Um, I mean, he, he actually, I mean, in the original fairy tale, he gave uh, a pig's heart or some animal's heart to the queen to eat. But she knew that Snow White was obviously not dead because she didn't end up uh, becoming younger and forever and she could feel it in a, it was like some magical thing. So, I mean, the Wicked Queen is a very definite uh, picture of a somatic narcissist because, I mean, she looks in the mirror, she talks to the mirror. The mirror is a ma magical mirror, but it reflects her desires. And in the current day version, the one, the most recent one, which was actually a... Uh, movie remake yeah it's a movie remake starring christian stewart and uh charlie steron okay with christian stewart as uh, snow white uh some somewhat a warrior princess something like that who grew up uh being incarcerated by the queen and uh and and, and charlie steron as ravina the really narcissistic uh woman who uses her her beauty her, her wiles, yeah, as a so-called, you know, damsel in distress to, to seduce kings and warrior men while um, incapacitating them, yeah, on the marriage bed and killing them right and then there. She's almost no different from a succubus spirit in uh, medieval mythology, so... Okay, why do I say that? Um, I just want to actually bring it back to the whole idea that uh, we know that narcissists, I mean, especially somatic narcissists, are very much uh, obsessed with <coughs> physical beauty. Um, they, they think they are the most beautiful. Uh, but at the same time, they demand that from everyone else. Uh, while ruining them, ruining them. Yes, it's it's really ironic. You, I mean, you should you say that you want a very good looking guy, but at the same time, while you get when you get you have gotten that guy, um, you keep on damaging him or abusing him to the point that he's so broken emotionally that you know his body takes on the um, the abuse. I mean, his body reflects the abuse as well with uh, things like you know. Uh, wrinkles, wounds, everything. So and 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 yeah, the body basically reflects that abuse that his body reflects and face reflects the reflects the abuse that he has gone through at the hands of the uh, the somatic narcissist, who could be a female or male, uh, depending on the person's orientation or sexuality. But I mean, such things do happen, and you do realize that at the end of the day. Um, a lot of things are actually more than skin deep and the body, this body we have, the face it might reflect some aspects of our inner spirit but uh, I mean it's, it, it doesn't show everything so um, especially if we remember in the original fairy tale the Wicked Queen, who is the stepmother of Snow White, I mean, she was such a master deceiver. She could, you know, uh, in at least even in the modern day fairy tale, she could morph into different forms. Uh, she was the, uh, mm, she was the, you know, master shapeshifter. She could turn into this uh, bunch of crows, a school of crows, yeah, or whatever you call that. Uh, I don't know, called school of crows or a flock of crows and uh, or ravens and she could also morph into an old woman she could morph into uh, Snow White's childhood love uh, yeah and she's like the somatic narcissist who thrives on the uh, using the body and face to deceive so I have actually told uh, uh, quite a number of people, like friends, 
um, including I'm, I mean including a senior citizen and I was in his seven, who's now seventy something in the gym. Uh, a friend of mine from uh, high school, high school, middle school, yeah, middle school, who's uh, openly gay and even uh, even in uh, I mean other buddies and everything like uh, you know regardless of their sexuality or background. There seems to be something that I actually have noticed, uh, especially coming from years of like you know observing people, uh, regardless of their social backgrounds. I don't want to sound really discriminatory, but uh, you you do realize that in certain communities, like maybe for example, such as the uh, you know the LGBT community, uh, you realize that there's this extreme love of some men for being as you know, as muscular as possible. Uh, why they are so obsessed with that at the same time while why, why do they want their partners to be like that? I can explain. <laughs> I don't I don't really understand. So but uh, it, it does get get them their attention probably to get laid and have sex. And and yet at the same time I mean, the, I mean, I've, you hear stories of how they don't even treat their partners well. Uh, I mean, I hear, I heard, I know of a story of one who was constantly doing stuff. Uh, I mean, while Mio Bion was, he was like, uh, not just sleeping around, but he was breaking other people's bodies by, you know, uh, doing stuff like, yeah, physically abusing them uh, in bed and everything. And he, he had a very twisted, uh, I mean, the social facade actually hides his very twisted, I mean, real self, which is actually a very evil one, because he breaks people's bodies, yeah, and um, it goes by the whole thing that uh, we should never learn to just look at appearances, um, and I mean, even with women, you know that... Uh, we have this thing about some women who are very conscious about their appearance, so they go for Botox or they go for plastic surgery just to you know remove uh, wrinkles or to look younger or because they feel that there's something about their face that which is not perfect. Uh, yeah, and okay, so back to the one that the first point I wanted to talk about was just that you should never judge a book by its cover. You should never judge people by their bodies or their faces. I mean, or even by what they put out. Uh, but the second thing is that um, beyond that, okay, uh, we we can't we can't slow aging, and we know that we can't slow aging, and uh, because we can't slow aging, we can only <coughs> I mean we can stop aging. Yeah, we can slow it, yes, um, and because of that, uh, the desperation of so manic narcissist in trying to get their supply seems to be even more obvious so I mean you you might have heard of stories of how you know after a certain point you know as they grow older they start resorting to stuff to things such as plastic surgery and uh, if not they become even if they don't resort to that they become more aggressive so uh, that's one aspect of them and all this is a reflection of, of our society. Yeah, uh, we learn to look at appearances again. Yeah, so uh, anyway, uh, that's it for now. I'm gonna actually uh, log off and uh, go some <laughs> go and do my stuff. Uh, actually, I'm gonna actually go off and exercise in the gym later after my sisters come over and uh, yeah and I uh, hope everyone has a good rest of the week and uh, it's actually, actually still a holiday here so yeah so I'll be using that to rest uh, before I get back to work again and you know work would be very hectic if I don't uh, put a you know like a regular stop to rest yeah okay so uh, that's it for now bye bye